um, on Sunday and uh, graduated with a 4.0 from a very prominent university here in Colorado. And um, my question to Dr. Mitchell, hi Dr. Mitchell, by the way, I'm a, I, I love your show. Look, Thinking Aloud, Me Thinking Aloud. I, I have it in the background. The whole time I was working on my degree, your show was playing in the background. Go ahead, Tim. You only had a minute left. Go ahead. Okay. And I actually wrote a paper about you and how you influenced me. But um, I just would like to know um, what advice you would have. Is it necessary to do graduate work going into parapsychology from an academic track, or can you know can is a is an undergraduate degree enough? And if so, what would be a good trajectory to get into the field and do what you're doing? Well, if you're highly motivated, an undergraduate degree is enough, but it's a very difficult field. It's not as if there are lots of jobs available at all. You have to be really willing to be entrepreneurial to make your own way in the field. You can't expect uh, that people are going to necessarily welcome you with open arms because there's very little money in the field. And mainstream doesn't really accept the theory of being paranormal. Do that. Uh, unfortunately, there's just no, in the state of Colorado, for example, I'm not aware of any research institutions or uh, universities or places where you could work as a parapsychologist. So you're, you're pretty much on your own, which was, you know, what I had to do myself. Uh, so probably the best advice if you're able to continue your schooling, but if you want to reach out to me separately, I'd be very interested in uh, seeing the paper you wrote about me. That would be great. Jeffrey, congratulations again on your first place prize, $500,000 from the Bigelow Institute for Conscious Studies, talking about evidence for the afterlife. Up next, we're going to talk about Atlantis, Liberia, and also your pets. Sign up now for Coast Zone, our free email newsletter. Get it today at coasttocoastam.com. Life is just too short to be listening to bad podcasts. Every week we will bring you the latest and dare I say the greatest in podcast releases as we chat with some of the smartest and most talented folks in the business. You can listen to the podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. It was the night before Christmas and someone in your house was tossing and turning like an insomniac mouse. So to sit and sleep, you should go for the best sleep of all. A great night's sleep for once and for all. It's Sit and Sleep Year on Clearance Sale. Save up to 50% off all the best brands. Plus, with your good credit, get 0% financing for 24 months with your minimum monthly payment. So don't let your own mess up. Trust your sleep to sit and sleep night after night. Dental Air Conditioning is contractor license number 1047-781. This is Ken Goodrich of Dental Air Conditioning and Plumbing. You've already heard the story of how my dad asked me to hold the flashlight for him at night while he worked on air conditioners. Dad knew he was dying, but I didn't. You know the story. Anyway, one of the things Dad would have me do is replace all the screws the previous repair guys left out when they reassembled the unit. My job was to find every missing screw and replace it with a brand new one. I still do that today, and so do all my guys. When motors are whirling and compressors are compressing and electrical contacts are doing their thing, those non-stop vibrations caused by missing screws will cause your system to die long before it's time. That's why we tied your unit down to factory fresh conditions on every service car. My guys are perfectionists. No squeaks, rattles, or hums. And don't forget our awesome duct testers. Gettle. G-O-E-T-T-L. It'll keep you cool, but it's hard to spell. Call us. Decking the halls with mouths of talk. KFI AM 640. KFI AM 640. KFI AM 640.
Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Here comes the rain. I'm Phil Hubert for the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Expect large amounts of rain and snow, possible slides in the recent burn areas. A voluntary evacuation warning is in effect as of this morning in Orange County Canyons. Especially those burned by the bonfire, or OC officials are concerned because the ground is already saturated. More reaction to DA George Gaston's chief of staff's arrest for public intoxication. The Azusa Police Union claims Joseph Iniguez threatened to put the arresting officer on the county's list to keep track of dishonest cops. Union President C.J. Wilson says Iniguez needs to be held accountable. The law enforcement officers will get punished if we abuse our power on a color of authority. Mr. Iniguez is doing that exact same thing. He's abusing his power on a color of authority against police officers who are doing their job legally. Iniguez did file a complaint against the arresting yes, officer. Yes, L.A. County has seen one of its sharpest day-to-day -day coronavirus case spikes since the pandemic began. More than 6,500 cases were reported yesterday. That's more than double Tuesday's amount. Governor Newsom, meantime, announced a mandate for all health care workers. He says a booster shot is needed. No group of workers understands that perhaps more than our frontline health care workers. And so I would just ask them to continue to lead by example. He's requiring a boost for everyone working in the medical field. Danny Plata works at Kaiser in San Diego. Just came out of a medically induced coma because he got COVID six months ago, and he says he was going to get a booster shot anyway, but... It does not sit well with me, the fact that it's not mandated. After 22 years, tonight marks the final sporting event played at Staples Center. Well, the arena isn't going anywhere, but the name is when the Lakers host the San Antonio Spurs, Center Court will bear the Staples Center logo one final time before the building officially becomes the Crypto.com Arena on Christmas Day. Southland weather from KFI. Rain, a lot of it, through Sunday. Possible flooding in the coastal inland ocean areas. Snow drops to 5,000 feet. High split about 60. Right now it's 55 in Fullerton, Laguna Hills 55, Lakewood 56, and a receipt of 51 degrees. We leave local from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Phil Huber. In Sun Valley, this is on the 5 southbound at Glen Oak. We have a crash at the right lane there. Watch for the lanes as you approach this area. South LA, we have a work zone 110 northbound from the 105 to the 10. Two right lanes going to be shut down for great work until 5. Expect delays in that area. Gas work, we have good news. The earlier crash on the 118 westbound at Rocky Peak Road has been cleared from lanes. Two drives up to full speed in that area. KFI and the Sky Hill get you there faster on Bride Van. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on the payroll through the pandemic, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is not a loan. This is a grant. The challenge is getting your hands on this money. This is a bureaucracy. InnovationRefunds.com cuts through the red tape, helps you get the cash. They do all of the legwork. They don't charge a penny until you receive the money. And what they do is simply share a percentage of the money they get. They got my business a six-figure refund. Now, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. That's impressive. Go to InnovationRefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions. InnovationRefunds.com, it's no risk, and it certainly is high reward. InnovationRefunds.com, they help me, I'm sure they can help you. InnovationRefunds.com. Radio advertising can connect your business with holiday shoppers wherever they go. Use iHeart Ad Builder to create an affordable yeah, custom radio right. app right on your phone. Just click, listen, approve, then hear it on the radio. Create your customized ad today at iHeartAdBuilder.com. A uh, light source whole house water filtration system is exactly what it says. It's a whole house system delivering highly filtered, delicious, safe water from every single faucet in your home. With LifeSource, you skip the cost hassle of buying bottled water. It reduces your hard water problems, the scale buildup, filters out chlorine, added chemicals, and there's no maintenance of any kind. I have this system. I absolutely love it. They simply make quality water easy. Never filters to change your salt to add. And LifeSource is having the end-of-the-year sale going on now through December 31. Call now for the best offer of the year. Call 800-334-5009. 800-334-5009. This is LightSourceWater.com. LightSourceWater. You can taste and feel the difference.
In 1982, Melissa Tate identifies Rodney Lincoln as her mother's killer. Then in 2015, Melissa says Rodney didn't do it. On the Most Killer podcast, Leah Rothman reveals what may be a miscarriage of justice. It was one of the most brutal crimes in St. Louis history. A single mother murdered, her two young daughters barely survived the attack. I'm on a mission to find the real killer. Listen to The Real Killer on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. We have a lot to celebrate this holiday season, but COVID-19 hasn't gone away, so let's make sure to keep our celebration safer by following these tips. Get vaccinated to protect loved ones, and get a booster to keep your immunity strong. Wear a mask in all public indoor settings, and if possible, keep gathering small, short, and outdoors if you're uncertain of everyone's vaccination status. Bring on the cheer safely this year. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Uh, let's move over to the wars of the future. All right, the post, the post-apolitan, apolitic, the post, uh, after the place falls apart. Bill handle. I'll get there. I get paid to do this. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. The best way to get into trouble and cause a ruckus is to tell the truth. We know firsthand here. You actually don't get in much trouble for making things up. You get in trouble when you tell the truth. John and Jack, weekdays 2 to 6 on KFI. KFI AM 640. Maybe I think too much, but something is strong. We're going to talk about two different subjects with Tom. First of all, for the first half, he has a book that came out in 2015 called Atlantis and Lemuria, The Lost Continents Revealed. We're going to talk with him a little bit about that. And then get him back at a later date for a full program on this amazing topic. And then later on in the show tonight, The Gentle Way with Pets and Jellic Help for Your Animal Companions. It's an amazing story. All that and much more next on Coast to Coast AM. I'm tired of the news. Every day, politicians are trying to make another money grab, whether it's spying on your accounts or taxing your unrealized gains. There's no shortage to their creativity when it comes to taking your hard-earned money to fund their expensive, far-reaching agendas. The point? You're making a mistake if you're not diversifying your savings. Hold gold in a tax-sheltered account or just hold gold at your home in your safe. And the only company I trust and recommend who sent gold to my door is Birch Gold Group. When you buy gold from Birch Gold by December 23rd, they'll send you free gold for every $10,000 you purchase. First time they've ever offered this deal. With thousands of satisfied customers and A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, you can trust Birch Gold to protect your savings. Simply text COAST to 989898 to claim eligibility for their free gold with a purchase offer by December 23rd. Again, text COAST to 989898 and protect your savings today. We've got an incredible guest right now, Christine Rose. And how did you become involved in holistic health and healing? By being extremely ill and trying to find a solution. I was told I was dying with three months to live and I wasn't going to give up. I was treated every day with carnivore and it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. You don't really have to be very ill to have the benefits of Cardamola. You cannot stop and say, oh, I had enough, I feel good. That is the wrong way. That's why I feel so fantastic and I passed 80. 
Beautiful. Conamora will make all the difference in the world. Call 866-836-8735. That's 866-836-8735. Or visit carnivore.com. That's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A.com. And we're back. George Norrie with you. Let me tell you about our guest, Tom T. Moore. He has been a president and CEO of his own international motion picture and television program distribution business for the past 24 years. During this time, he has co-executive produced several movies, TV shows, has traveled extensively as part of his business duties. Tom graduated with a BA degree in business administration from Texas Christian University, served in the U.S. Army as a first lieutenant. Thank you for serving there, Tom. He has been requesting benevolent outcomes for 10 years and has a keen knowledge of how they can be used in both business affairs and in one's personal life, resulting in what he calls the gentler, less stressful life, the gentle way. He's got several books out, including his latest, The Gentle Way with Pets, Angelic Help for Your Animal Companions. We're going to talk with them about that in the half mark of this hour. And uh, Atlantis and Lemuria, which he wrote back in 2015. But, Tom, welcome back. Happy holidays to you, and I hope all is well. Thank you. I, I, a good evening or good morning to you and your listeners all over the place. What a varied career you have. How do you go from being a president and CEO of your own motion picture company into being an author? Well, I'm, I'm a reluctant author, uh, you could say. Uh -huh. um, yes, my, my background is business um, with a, a degree actually in finance. And um, uh, after my stint in the Army, uh, I, uh, uh, my first successful business was, uh, believe it or not, a ski club in Dallas, Texas for single adults called the Single Skiers of Dallas. That morphed over the years into a travel agency, then a, into a wholesale tour company where we were selling uh, uh, our tours through 3,000 travel agents oh, nationwide. Good for you. Sold that business and uh, started from scratch with the international film and TV program distribution uh, business and have grown that to a point where we have a library of about 5,000 classic uh, movies and TV series. So good, good um, that's, that's what I thought I was going to be doing the rest of my life. And uh, until I went to a, uh, uh, a seminar put on by Dick Sutton, uh in Sedona and uh, in increasing his yeah. psychic abilities. And uh, so I decided to contact a Indian shaman um, uh, that had been channeled for me before by the name of Reveals the Mysteries. And so I said, Reveals the Mysteries, are you there? And he said, yes, I am, Tom. And I said, wow, this is neat. And so he went on to tell me that, uh, uh, that my name was Stillwater. I was an Indian shaman in the 1600s like he, he mm -hmm. is or was. Yeah. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, that I had incarnated into the 20th and 21st centuries to reintroduce people to the gentle way. And he also told me, he said, you're going to write books. And I said, no, 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 I, I'm a business guy. He said, books. So I wrote my first book. Good for you. I know you were on the, the program with our host, Lee Cigar, about three years ago. And, uh -huh. uh, way too long to come back so we're definitely going to get you back with uh, a full show on atlantis and lemuria much quicker than three years okay good okay and i look forward to the gentle ways with pets which we'll talk about uh, at the halfway point yep. and then we'll take so, calls so basically you know what i am is a telepath okay okay uh, because i've asked now about thirty thousand questions in a meditative state uh, anyone can do this um, because we all have the pineal gland in the back of our heads that acts as an antenna for all these for all types of telepathic communication. So anyone can do this. In fact, my guardian angel Theo, who I talked to, um, 
says, he said, uh, Tom, he said, you realize in this time period, most people don't believe in civil polygamy. He said, oh, you humans have so much to learn. So we do. We sure do. Absolutely. And uh, you have learned a lot to, to be a spiritual. Tell me how you came across the Atlantis and the Maria story. Is that through your telepathy? Uh, oh, yes. I, uh, uh, one day I decided to ask that the, uh, have I ever had a wife on, uh, on Atlantis? Uh, and uh, I was told, oh, yes, you had uh, over, I think, let's see, 160 or 180 wives uh, on Atlantis and, and uh, Presidia. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and so, um, he said, uh, that's, that's where the general way originated. About 12,700 years ago, um, you were a religious leader that had a million people practicing the general way. And uh, then, uh, uh, because things were getting worse and worse between society and oh, the and the little five islands below them, um, I, I was told you need to leave for five yet, and so I took 25,000 of my followers through Europe, and we uh, migrated to Egypt. So, interesting. Interesting. Now, Atlantis, of course, was reportedly located in the Atlantic graphic. Ocean between North America and Africa, and then Lemuria was in the Pacific Ocean. And, uh, and they were around, what, 50, 60,000 years ago, apparently? Uh, well, uh, the both continents existed, you know, 60,000 years ago when humans were first introduced uh, to, uh, uh, and I'm talking about human, uh, homo sapiens were introduced 60,000 years ago. Okay, so uh, Atlantis, uh, the top of Atlantis, if you can imagine, would be on a line that would be drawn out from the bottom of uh, Newfoundland or Newfoundland, depending on where you're from. And uh, that's at 47 degree uh, parallel. And uh, it was in the shape of a rectangle. And, and it went within 30 miles of Africa, which at that time was known as the uh, with, uh, I'm sorry, uh, land of Oz, and there was a tail from the uh, from Atlantis because it was about 10 percent larger than than uh, Australia today, and that tail uh, went down parallel to the North American coast, all the way down to the Bahamas. So that's where it was located. Now we first became known about this because of Plato back around 360 BC where he started talking about half God, half humans, and an incredible civilization. How much technology do you think, Tom, the Atlanteans have? They, keep in mind, they, they existed from 60,000 years ago down to, uh, uh, down to 12,500, okay. So in that time, uh, with the exception, well, 30,000 years ago, uh, a line of volcanoes that bisected the continent um, uh, up that was on top of the mid-Atlantic ridge. Mm -hmm. They all blew up at the same time. Oh, that geez. broke apart the continent of itself and uh, sank. The oceans of the, uh, of the world all rose 160 feet. And, uh, and basically drowned millions of people all over the world. And it just left, islands left, and in the middle of the Atlantic was Poseidia, and below it was Aaron and five other islands. And Poseidia had the law of one uh, religious belief, and uh, uh, the Aaron uh, and its islands were known as the Sons of Belial. Were they advanced technologically? Oh, way advanced. I mean, and, and that was one of the problems, and that's one of the. Uh, that's why the, you, uh, you you don't see ETs running around so much, <laughs> although they're starting to a little bit more. And yeah. uh, it's because they gave 
free energy to the Atlanteans in the form of giant crystals that were like 20, 25 feet tall, and they were known as posers, and they were ginned up magnetically in some form or fashion, and they they basically put out this beam of energy that was like a radio beam. And they captured it from the sun, right? Um, well, I don't know. The, the, the crystals themselves were ginned up, uh, you know, by, uh, by magnetically so that they... On their own. ...emitted this beam, and the beam uh, powered all their planes and and buses and trains and everything and, and everything inside their houses were all were all powered by these this crystal energy and and it had a limit it, it, it's like a radio beam uh, with the the rounding of the earth they had to have these posers every few miles uh, in order to keep everything working and the problem is uh, the ETs had given them this, but they misused it and turned it into weapons of war, which eventually destroyed them. Did they destroy themselves this way? Yes. Oh, in, yes. in addition to the volcanoes and the eruptions and things like that? Yeah. That, that did a big job, obviously, but it left those islands. And then over, uh, over the last, you know, thousand years, it got worse and worse. Where the Sons of Belial did a Pearl Harbor type attack with 325 aircraft, I think it oh was. Oh my God! Now where is all this stuff? All down in the bottom of the sea? Oh yeah, because they they use these lasers that would literally melt the ground that people stood on, and uh, uh, they thought they knew where all the airfields and Poseidia were, but they didn't. And Poseidia uh, retaliated and attacked uh, Aaron and those other islands. And eventually they they sank 12,500 years ago and the oceans of the world rose 42 feet. And that's when Noah's Ark was. Uh -huh. See, but, but now Noah was tipped off, of course. Is that a godly thing or something else? Um, uh, that's, uh, uh, I, I believe he was, and, uh, uh, you know, told to, uh, uh, start, start start the yeah. and, and he did. It's just that he thought, or they thought, or whatever, that the, uh, uh that the water was going to cover the whole world, but in actuality, it only, uh, the oceans only rose 42 feet. So it covered like the Mediterranean, and to them, that was the whole world. But the sinking itself well, is uh, yeah, a tsunami. Well, yeah, I mean, if you get 42 feet, you know, going, uh, you've got major tsunamis, and, you know, it isn't just a little rise in, in water, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, huge waves and everything. If we, with, with our technology, Tom, why can't we go down to the bottom of the ocean and find all these remnants? Well, I was told it's because, you know, it, it happened 12,500 years ago, there, and all the silt and everything that just it's all covered up. The whole place up. Plus the rocks from the continents and everything else I've got. Yep. So what a discovery that would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, and people have asked me about that, but it's, uh, you know, it's just not going to happen. We're, uh, you know, we're moving on from that. I was told that I've had more lives on Atlantis and Lemuria than any other person on Earth. And that's why, that's why I'm writing about it now. Uh, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, because I know more about it, I guess, than than anybody else. You touched on Adam and Eve somewhat in this book. Tell me about that. Oh, um, yeah, gosh. Adam and Eve is basically just the Adam 
and Eve, I mean, it's the homo sapiens, okay? And these ETs um, that were asked by the Creator to uh, populate the world um, could could pop out a, a whole holy form being in 2.5 minutes Jeez. each. That's amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there are millions of years ahead of us technologically, but not on an energy basis. Not, they're all stuck mm -hmm. at 5 points, 3 mm -hmm. seconds, 4, and then oh, the, 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 the explorer race, as we're known, that's what we're going to be doing when we go out to the stars. We're not going to have to. Uh, 3250, and uh, people think it's going to be, you know, 2250 or, or whatever, but it's actually going to take a lot longer than that. And uh, we have to learn how to yeah. bend space and time before we can get out there. Right, and, and it's called portal hoppers. Yeah. And that's what I'm told. And uh, and when you portal hop, you can't. There are these energy pathways between planets, and we have a our scientists have not discovered those shows, okay? So when we when we portal start portal hopping, we have to go from we can't go all the way across the the universe in one hop. We have to go from one galaxy to the next galaxy and, and so on. Uh, it was described to me as like a plane uh, going from Florida and making several stops over to the west coast. And when I put, you know, I acted surprised about that analogy, and, you know, I, I was so old time, and this is from my my uh, ET buddy, and sure, he said, Tom, we know everything about you. So, uh, that's, that's an interesting so anyway, theory, too. That's how people move. Is now, when Lemuria went down, Tom, did it go down the same time Atlantis went down? No. It, uh, it was a very idyllic place. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I think it was uh, 65 lives from Lemuria. 65? Wow. 60, 65 compared to 160 or 80 on Atlantis. And I said, why so few? And and I was told, well, gosh. Uh, you didn't live long in those times. <laughs> no, it was, it, it, it was because um, it was a very idyllic place. They also were, you know, were populated 60,000 years ago. So they were the very idyllic uh, right. uh, life until one, about 1,000 years before the end. And Lemuria was about 12% larger than, than uh, Australia today. It at one point actually joined uh, Japan. Uh, but when all the oceans rose 160 feet to 42 feet, it, it, it uh, broke away. And it extended all the way to the east within 100 miles of Hawaii. And for a thousand years, the Lemurians would stay all the way because uh, they, uh, there's all this Lemurian energy in a lot. And I bet you know the secret for the film. Thank you. Well, I think I have to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to the human voice, which is why, which is what I teach in the general way, the human voice is very powerful, much more powerful than we understand today. Hold on for a second, Tom. We'll talk about the pyramids when we come back in your latest book, The Gentle Way with Pets. Don't forget to watch our TV show, Beyond Belief, with George Miller.
I'm Phil Hewlett from the KFI 24-Hour Newsroom. Expect large amounts of rain and snow, possible slides in the recent burn areas. A voluntary evacuation warning takes effect this morning in the Orange County canyons burned by the bonfire. L.A. County has seen one of its sharpest day-over-day -day coronavirus case spikes since the pandemic began. More than 6,500 cases were reported yesterday. That's more than double Tuesday's number. Health officials cite Omicron and just how contagious it's proven to be. More details about VA George Gascon's chief of staff and his arrest for public intoxication. The Azusa Blue 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 Shirt. claims Joseph Iniguez threatened to put the arrest on the county's Brady list. But the VA's office uses that list to keep track of dishonest cops. Stuff and weather from KFI rain, a lot of it. Today through Sunday, possible flooding for coastal and inland OC. Snow levels dropped to about 5,000. Man, feet. Man at about 60 degrees. Right now it's 57 in Anaheim, Laguna Beach 55, West Covina 59, and in Burbank 57 degrees. We lead local from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Phil Hula. In Sun Valley, this is on the 5 southbound at Lenox Boulevard. Boy! Cruise from an earlier crash. Taking up the right lane there, you're seeing delays as you approach. Testing, we have good news. Earlier crash on the 5 southbound at the 55 has been cleared from lanes. Your drive's up the full speeds in that area. And in Huntington Beach, there is a work zone that's on the 405 northbound from Beach Boulevard to Bolsa. Two right lanes here to be shut down for road work. Watch for delays. KFI of the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Brian Van. Every year, our team provides food and toys for less fortunate families. Hello, my name is John McClan, owner of Ruder Hill Plumbing. I remember one Christmas when my dad didn't have any work, and we didn't have Bust. any money. I can still recall the look of shame on his face when my brother and I only had one present to open. I was a brat and said something I shouldn't have. To this day, I am still Get sorry for what I said to my dad. I was selfish and I wish I could take it all back. So I know it's like the family. At Ruder Hill Plumbing, we want to make Christmas special. So all this month, we are donating a portion of every plumbing and drinking and service we do to families in need. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from our family to yours. Thank you. Everybody needs a hero. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on the payroll through the pandemic, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is not a loan. This is a grant. The challenge is getting your hands on this. Money. Man, guys. Innovation refunds. The title right. Red tape helps you get the cash. They do all of the labor. Bad. They don't charge a penny until you receive the money. And what they do is simply share a percentage of the money they get for you. They got my business a six-figure refund. Now, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. That's impressive. Go to innovationrefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions. Innovationrefunds.com, it's no risk, and it certainly is high reward. Innovationrefunds.com, they help me, I'm sure they can help you. Innovationrefunds.com. KFI, AM 640, more stimulating talk. Uh, we have the best medical system in the world, you know that, don't you? Which is why people have to go to GoFundMe, which is why they go bankrupt, which is why people have to decide do we pay the rent or do we pay medical bills. Keep in mind, we have the best medical system in the world. Bill Handel. Remember, no insurance is the best insurance. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI.